Hey guys, so um, I'm not really feeling myself. I have not been feeling myself the past couple days. It's been a rough week, but that's why I wanted to film this. Lessons I've learned in my 20s. So I am 27, so I still got time. When I, everything happened, when I got my divorce, when I moved out, when I made that big change, I really didn't have time to process it, honestly, because I was so focused on surviving. I was really focused on making sure MK's room was perfect, making sure that the air mattress we were sleeping on was as cozy as could be, making sure I could afford to pay rent. I just wanted her to be okay more than anything, and it was a beautiful distraction. But the only downside is um, I really didn't process what I was going through. I was A, in shock. B, I didn't want to feel it because I was scared it would never end. And C, when I would start to feel it, I, I wouldn't allow myself to. And to an extent, that's good, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be basking in sadness for whatever reason. You don't want to be miserable all the time. But sometimes it's just this fear that it's going to last longer than you think. It could last forever. And that just scared me to death. So, I didn't really feel it. And the downside of that is you never really heal from it. It comes in waves. Things spark it that you wouldn't think would. So I, I had this beautiful life, and one day it all just came crumbling down. It's not a sob story. Don't you be sobbing. Not like I've been sobbing, but this is just something I'm gonna tell you guys that would have helped me heal a little more smoothly. I just wanna encourage people if you're going through something, it sucks to feel it. It's literally how you move on. Everyone thinks, oh, it's this glow up. You wanna feel good about yourself, self-love, self-help. You wanna get better, be your best self. Yeah, that's part of it. But the first and the biggest step is feeling it and being present in that moment and knowing that that's all it is. It's a feeling. It's not permanent. There's gonna be another chapter that's gonna transpire and it's gonna propel you into this beautiful future you have no idea exists. It's even better than you could have imagined. Step two, you gotta purge the people in your life. Your inner circle, has to be protected. I made mistakes where I would let people in just because they were a good time and it was fun and um, I thought they had my best intentions at heart and it was kind of naive. It's hard when you don't see bad because you wouldn't do it. I'm not saying be cynical towards people, but be very careful who you let in your inner circle. That is a sacred place. They have to earn that. Don't just give that away. Another thing I learned, stay doing your hobbies and the things you love. Even if you get in a relationship, even if you get in a new job, stay with it. I realized I lost all my hobbies. I stopped running, I stopped dancing, I stopped reading, I stopped doing the little things that I like doing that make me feel pretty. I just got busy and I didn't think about it, but that really transpires in other aspects of your life. You really see it. You feel confident, you, you exude that confidence. You have to wear something you feel good in. And that looks different for every girl, every guy, every person. Another thing I learned was to be aware of your finances. I mean, I don't know if this goes more for my women, but I know that when I was in my marriage, I didn't really focus on it. I just kind of made money and I was like, okay, you got it. Like, it's all good. Um, and then when everything happened and all of a sudden I had all these expenses, I felt like a deer in the headlights. That was such a huge wake up call. I hate feeling stupid. I hate feeling ignorant. And I felt ignorant. I felt like helpless. That's the word. I felt helpless. And I hate feeling that. And I don't want anyone to ever feel that way. Just learn about your money. Learn where it goes. Learn what's getting taken out. Learn what's getting put in. Don't be intimidated by that initial I don't know part because that's going to stick with you for the rest of your life. I mean, I wish school taught that because I really knew nothing, but I taught myself. <sighs> Another thing, this is so cliche, but you only really notice it when it affects your life. I used to eat very healthy. And when everything kind of happened. I A, stopped eating and then B, wasn't eating good stuff. I wasn't sleeping very well. I'd be on my phone at night. I usually make my shakes in the morning. I'm going to put the recipe right here. That was literally my daily serving of vegetables and it would make me feel good throughout the day and I had no idea. You know, I feel like self-love and things we enjoy look different for other people. When everything first happened, I really wanted to go out and drink and party and meet people. Um, but that's not what I really needed, nor what I really wanted in actuality. I just didn't want to be alone and I didn't want to feel my feelings. I just wanted to tell you guys that and I hope you enjoy this. I know it's a little bit more of a casual video, but I mean, we've come a very, very long way.
I'm going to add the TikTok that I made when it explains the fear of love and the fear of falling in love because there's also this fear that you could lose it and there's also this fear that you need it. It's easier to not have it. So I'm going to add that so you guys can see that. I'm honestly scared to put this video out. I feel like all my videos, I'm all done up with makeup. I know what I'm going to talk about and it's something scripted in the sense of it's been planned. I didn't plan this. It's just been on my heart and I wanted to share it. And um, I want you guys to know... Um, you really changed my life. I wouldn't have been able to support myself or my daughter if it wasn't for your support and your continued support. I just want you guys to be proud of me. That man's been watching me film this whole time. Hello, sir. It's been a week, you guys. It's been a week. We got the waterworks. I'm gonna go, cause you girls rambling now. There's a reason I said I'd be happy alone. It wasn't cause I thought I'd be happy alone. It was because I thought if I loved someone, and then I fell apart, I might not make it. It's easier to be alone. Because what if you learn that you need love, and then you don't have it? What if you like it, and lean on it? What if you shape your life around it, and then it falls apart? Can you even survive that kind of pain? For me. Losing love is like organ damage. It's like dying. The only difference is, 